Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well folks, you've been asking me, or I should say a lot of you have been asking me where the cold, where's the cold air been, and well, it's here. Uh, and it uh, looks like it's going to be here for quite a while. I can honestly tell you that uh, looking at some of the weather maps, it doesn't look like it's going to warm up anytime soon. And so we're talking about prime ice making weather, especially as the wind dies off uh, throughout the week and into the weekend. Uh, but we're going to be making a lot of ice uh, over the next uh, week to two weeks and I can guarantee you the ice is going to grow at a rapid pace like what we saw last year as well. So the whole key is being smart out there. We haven't had much in the way of fishing reports because obviously the weather has changed so drastically from Sunday to Monday but before the change of the weather guys were really doing well at Sinai as well as uh, Chamberlain. The Missouri River has just been absolutely hot. But after Monday, with the change of the weather, with the snow, the wind, the cold, everyone has been uh, now putting their stuff away and now looking forward to the ice season. In this version of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about ice safety because obviously with the colder weather, a lot of people are going to go out and want to hit that first ice, whether or not it be this weekend or the coming week. Uh, but we want to make sure that you're safe. And whether or not you're uh, thinking about going out this week or next week, throughout the entire year, you remember the old adage that there's no such thing as safe ice. And so these are the things that you need to have with you at all times throughout the upcoming ice fishing season. One of the first ones is the ice picks. I don't care what kind you buy, make sure you have a pair of uh, ice picks for you and also anyone else that goes out on the ice in case you do fall through that you can use these pi uh, picks to pull yourself up out of that, uh, out of the water and uh, onto the safe ice. So again, the ice picks are something that you need to have wrapped around you at all times throughout the uh, upcoming season. The second thing is a spud bar. What is a spud bar? It's a heavy rod that you can put out in front of you and tap at the ice. And I don't want you just to tap or poke at the ice. I want you to give it a good old thud because that will help test that thickness on whether or not that ice is safe enough for you to continue to walk out on there. The third thing is a safety rope. You can use that safety rope to, in case someone else from around you falls through, you can throw that rope out there and then have them hold on to it and pull them out at that point in time. The fourth thing is a life jacket or a flotation suits. Many companies offer them, such as Stryker, Clam, as well as Frable. They're easily affordable and obviously you can't put a price on your own life. So those four things are critical to keep you safe throughout the upcoming ice season. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. Well, folks, before we end this week's report, I want to let you know that obviously we are huge inventory uh, of ice fishing stuff. Uh, I don't think you're going to find a better selection of ice fi uh, fishing tackle or ice fishing equipment anywhere around the area. So stop on by or give us a call at 605-336-9132. And if we don't have it, as I've said before, we'll order it for you at no additional charge to you. Also, folks, if you're looking for waxworms and maggots, we have all that. We even have the multicolored maggots as well as the red. So keep that in mind over the next week or so. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two-Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next week, and again, thanks for watching.